Well, what's going on everyone? I hope you are well. I hope you went out and enjoyed your e-bike today. I am extremely spoiled because North Carolina, it's almost February and it's about 60 degrees and sunny today. So had to get out for a quick ride and wanted to give you an update because I do have exciting news for you. At least I think it's exciting. And that is that there is some competition coming to the channel. Some all wheel drive competition. Something that's gonna match up well against the Citizen bike and possibly defeat it. We shall see. This is my uh, all wheel drive bike, my dual motor bike. It's uh, got some pretty crazy performance. It's dual 750 motors, geared hub motors in each wheel and uh, 52 volt batteries, 35 amp controllers. Very fast, very powerful bike. But the bike that is on the way is from Fabulous. If you don't know Fabulous, check them out. They make some extremely powerful e-bikes. And they're gonna be sending me one called the Havoc. And it's a 20 inch wheel bike, but it's got dual 750 motors. Um, it has, they tell me 44 amp controllers. That's pretty crazy. And it has a 60 volt battery system. So it's way more powerful than this bike on the numbers. I'm really <laughs> anxious to get on that. It should be here probably in maybe about two weeks, I think. I should have it and be able to get out on it and test it and compare it and show you guys that bike. It's gonna be a beast. I, can, I mean, 60 volt, 40, 40 plus amp controllers with dual 750 motors. That sounds crazy. So finally, we will have some worthy competition on the channel. I kind of, I brag about this bike a lot, but I know there's faster bikes out there. So we might be getting on one. And uh, it's, it's time. It's time for someone to dethrone the citizen bike on the channel. We'll see if the fabulous Havoc can do it. I think it's got a really good chance. And uh, they also have some other powerful bikes like the EMX Extreme and also the Road Warrior. They make both of those bikes with the same setup. Dual 750 watt motors and 40 plus amp controllers and 60 volt battery systems, which is bigger than this. This is 52. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I, I am ready to try that bike. I can't wait. I hope I get to try a couple more from them as well. And those numbers, that might outdo the Grizzly. Everybody always tells me, get an aerial Grizzly. You know, that, that's gonna beat your citizen bike. Get the Grizzly. And I've thought about it. I just haven't been willing to drop like $3,500 for it because this I mean this fabulous bike the Havoc which has I think better specs than the Grizzly is cheaper I think it's like 2500 bucks or 2700 bucks it's some crazy price I don't know how fabulous does that all their bikes are really priced extremely well for what you get let me give you some of the more some more of the specs on the Havoc so I've already told you the motors the batteries controllers it also has a torque sensor it's got hydraulic brakes, rack fenders included, um, color display, pretty much everything that you would want on the bike. I, I couldn't really think of anything that it was missing. It's dual suspension. It has an air shock in the front and an air shock in the rear, and it folds. What other, what's missing? <laughs> I don't know. It does pretty much everything on paper. We'll see when it gets here in my hands and I can test it and just see how much power that thing really has. I hope there's a watt meter on there. I'm really kind of curious to see what it would read out. These screens, when I'm you know, full throttle, they're usually reading about 1700 something watts on each wheel. And uh, this is a ton of fun. So I can't imagine what it's like having stronger batteries and stronger controllers. Um, I've been debating on whether I should amp up this bike and switch to that system, but it's pretty quick as you can see right here. I mean, whoa, God. This thing has power for days. So that bike, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be on 20 inch wheels though too. So I don't know if that's going to give it even more torque on the smaller wheel. On the way, the fabulous Havoc um, I'll throw, try to throw up some photos of it so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It's this beautiful, like, crimson red. And I know they were just tweaking a couple things before they were ready to send it out to me. So, are you ready? <laughs> I am. If uh, you want to see this bike, 
do me a favor consider hitting subscribe and i uh, will try to get the video out as soon as i can as soon as i get that bike i'll probably do a bunch of videos with it because it's going to be a lot of power to play with so i'm ready though i can't wait to try it and possibly if if it dethrones the citizen bike then maybe i'll retire this one a bit and build a new one build something new i don't know we'll find out but that's all i got for you today i hope you're excited check out fabulous check out the website and look at all the powerful bikes they got if you're in the market for like an all-wheel drive and you don't want the grizzly they got some fantastic options i think there's three or four different all-wheel drive bikes that they've got so oh man i almost lost the front wheel there Woo. all right that's all for today thank you so much for watching us one last launch here we go that was a good one i didn't get much wheel spin there